Right now, solar activity is at a 20-year high. And in fact, it's at some of the highest ever levels ever observed. And what we see with increasing solar energy output in solar maximum periods is greater energy volatility on Earth, which influences human consciousness, leading to less stability and more impulsivity. And this is seen reflected in law and order, political structures, society, economic markets, and much more. So an interesting question to ask during all this is, is the price of Bitcoin correlated with solar activity? And so we have the price of Bitcoin here. We have this in a logarithmic scale. You can see just how much the price of Bitcoin has grown, going all the way from its first trading days at 0.005, all the way up to now, today, August 15th, a price of about 59,000 US dollars. And there are a lot of different influences over the price of Bitcoin, this decentralized digital currency. Bitcoin halvings are the strongest and most well-known cycle as it relates to the price of Bitcoin. What happens is the block subsidy about every four years gets slashed in half. As a result, the stock to flow ratio goes down. And what we see is shortly after each halving, the price goes up because if demand continues to stay the same or increase and there's less supply going onto the market daily from miners, then there is a shock to the supply and as a result, price has to go up to compensate to balance things out. So this is a very well-known four-year cycle. We see the first halving here, the second, the third. We just had a halving, the fourth one, on April 20th of 2024 this year. And so this very neatly correlates with the price of Bitcoin. But what we also see are some very interesting price correlations with solar activity. Here we have our solar activity data. What we're looking at are sunspot numbers. And so here we have zero going all the way to 200. We see solar cycle 24 and solar cycle 25, which has not yet concluded. That will be finishing around 2030. These are 12 year cycles of solar activity. What happens is the magnetic field of the sun flips every 12 years. And during that chaotic in-between period, when there is no clear magnetic field, solar energy output goes up and we are at solar maximum. And so we can see that we've had two solar cycles now with Bitcoin being alive, you could say. And here's solar cycle 24. Bitcoin was born and released during the very beginning of solar cycle 24 during solar minimum. So sunspot numbers are low. And in general, what you see is as the sunspot numbers go up and solar flux increases, so too does the price of Bitcoin. So there are really excellent correlations between solar activity and the price of Bitcoin early in its history. But that correlation does break down a bit during this period here, during solar minimum in between solar cycles 24 and 25. We see that the price of Bitcoin went up here, even though solar activity in general was going down. But now we are ramping back up with solar cycle 25. And in fact, you'll see that our sunspot numbers for solar cycle 25 are higher than they ever reached for solar cycle 24. And so if there is a correlation between solar activity and the price of Bitcoin, perhaps this is speaking to the fact that we will reach new all-time highs with this decentralized asset. There are a few points of high solar activity that I would like to zone in on as it relates to the price of Bitcoin and the correlation between them. We'll start at the beginning. First off, you'll notice a few different peaks with solar cycle 24. This first one right there lines up very nicely with this increase in the price that we see there, this explosive growth with the birth of Bitcoin and its initial release and distribution to, in general, the wider public. Then we see our first spike in solar activity for solar cycle 24. It is right here. It is coming slightly after this price uh, reached a high for Bitcoin early on. This is uh, 2011 right there. But in general, what you see is that as solar activity was increasing, so too is the price of Bitcoin. And then we reach this peak and the price started to then correct itself. We see here uh, during this kind of lull during this solar maximum period for solar cycle 24, 
that the price continued to go up. We do see that during this one high mark within this uh, kind of trough, you could say, that that is correlated very nicely with this high point. And then if you look here at this other peak for solar cycle 24, it comes right during this all time high for Bitcoin there. And that was in 2013, 2014. And so again, this number is for the month. We're looking at sunspot numbers for the month. And so in fact, this sunspot count was going up that entire time, increasing to its maximum. We see the price for the first cycle reach its maximum. We also had the having have an influence there. And there's actually some other influences early on with uh, Bitcoin, some very interesting planetary resonances that we'll look at in just a little bit too, because this is a more complex story than just solar activity. Then as we move on, we see that the correlation does seem to break down, but perhaps not as much as you may initially think just by looking at the data. We do see this spike in the sunspot numbers there away from that moving average. And that is very nicely lined up with this increase and in kind of blow off top that we had in 2017. And then you also will notice that here is solar minimum. And then as solar cycle 25 starts, we kind of had a, a jump in the sunspots pretty early on, much slower than what it is now, but still relative to where it was, we had this increase in solar activity and energy output. And that is very nicely lined up to this big run up that we had in 2021. Then since then, solar activity has continued to increase. And we do see that, for example, after this plateau that we reached in solar activity, we had a spike in the sunspot numbers and that's linked very nicely. And in general, this whole region is linked very nicely to this run up that we've had in the price there. And now we've had the fourth happening on April 20th of this year, which is also the same date as a very powerful planetary resonance, a Jupiter-Uranus conjunction, which also seems to be correlated with the price of Bitcoin. So let's look into that. Every 14 years or so, there is a Jupiter-Uranus conjunction. And basically what that means is that if you look up in the night sky, Jupiter and Uranus are together at the same position. And so this is a very powerful planetary resonance. And it's linked to very transformational, electric, radical changes, liberation. And it's also linked to big shocks and growth of technology. We see that time and time again. If you'd like to get the historic record of that in very clear detail, very well researched, then you can research into the work of Richard Tarnas. And so what we see is at the very beginning of Bitcoin's growth cycle, its first cycle, we had three Jupiter-Uranus conjunctions. The first one was at zero degrees of Aries, and then they had a retrograde conjunction at the last degrees of Pisces, and then a third one, the final conjunction for that synodic cycle, also uh, in Pisces at the very beginning of 2011. And so there it is right there, and that looks perfect as it relates to this initial increase in the price of Bitcoin that we see there very early on. And this is perfect because the archetypal energies of Jupiter Uranus cycles are such that it's all about fueling and building disruptive technologies that make our world a better place. That is one of the primary uh, aspects and reflections that we see from the Jupiter Uranus synodic cycle. And so this is a 14 year cycle. You'll have squares and oppositions in between, but we just had another Jupiter Uranus conjunction, this time just a single one on April 21st of 2024. And so what's interesting about that is that is exactly when there was a Bitcoin happening. The Bitcoin happening was one day before that Jupiter Uranus synodic cycle. So in general, what we're looking at here are different cycles that influence the price of Bitcoin. The most well-known and clearly the strongest is the halvening cycle where the Bitcoin supply flow drops. But we also see these correlations with solar activity and also different planetary resonances like the Jupiter Uranus synodic cycle. And so if we zone in on 2024, what we see is that all three of these are coming together and combining. And this is known in physics as constructive interference. And so when you have three waves come together constructively, they spike up in amplitude 
what the sum is of their different amplitudes. So if you have one, 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 all of a sudden you have an amplitude of three. And so what the respective amplitudes are for the solar, the solar influence or the influence of Jupiter Uranus conjuncting, that is kind of up to be determined. But we see these strong influences of solar activity and the Jupiter Uranus planetary resonance with the price of Bitcoin, of course, with the halvening. And now we have all three active at the same time, indicating that we could have a very explosive period of price discovery on the near horizon as it relates to Bitcoin and perhaps other digital currencies as well. Interesting to note about this Jupiter Uranus conjunction that occurred on April 21st of 2024 is that there were two other significant events that happened for other cryptocurrencies at the same time. There was for Monero, it's block birthday. So its first block was produced on April 20th. And so that is its solar return if you study astrology. And then there was also Doge Day for Dogecoin. And so we have not only the Bitcoin happening on April 20th, there was also Doge Day and the birthday of Monero in terms of its first block being mined. So all of them are very much connected and linked to the energy of this Jupiter Uranus conjunction, uh, Bitcoin through its happening, those other two through those respective events. All three of them are proof of work coins. They're all very similar, though their ethos is slightly different and solar activity is going up in general. So we could be seeing some really explosive price growth, not only for Bitcoin, but for also Monero and Doge based on this analysis. But there does seem to be a link between solar activity and the price of Bitcoin based on my research and these correlations that you can see for yourself. And also with this Jupiter Uranus synodic cycle. And right now, all three are converging the having the Jupiter Uranus synodic cycle and solar activity is increasing even more from this point, which could lead you to believe that the price of Bitcoin will respond in kind and go well up into the six digit mark. And a famous quote to close with is that millionaires don't use astrology, billionaires do. So I hope you found this information valuable and something to think about. I've been your host, Stefan Burns. I track solar activity regularly with my YouTube channel. So if you'd like to learn more about that, then you can subscribe. Hope to see you here. Wishing you all well and have a great day. Okay, that, that does it. <laughs>